offshore. Uh, we pump it up to the uh, north end of the plank. See a little shimmer if you look at the reflection of the windows in the water. So the water will go through the uh, filters and collect in uh, filter water conduits. And it heads towards the uh, signal pylon in the middle. And then right underneath that signal pylon is where the water enters the final reservoir. The reservoir is 50 million liters, which is like 10,000 swimming pools. So we turn that over 12 times a day. Gretchen Ross Production Center. It opened up in April 2011. It's 59,000 square feet of production space. It's storage space. There's a carpentry area. There's a welding area. There's a scenic paint area. One of the most interesting things about this place is that 90 ballets are stored here. So each ballet, once it's produced, everything is kept, everything is maintained, everything is cared for. There's something called the Blue Book, which is a book that lists everything a ballet needs, like uh, the props, the wardrobe, the scenery, and then that blue book is kind of your guide to pulling out the props, pulling out the sets, pulling out the backdrops. Um, and it's just, it's a really cool place because there's so much stuff in here and there's so much that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see when they go to a ballet. You try to see the whole Ecology. It is um, it is a nature center at the Humber Arboretum, and the Humber Arboretum is actually the wilderness that we're in right now. And this is like a learning facility, so we have programs for children, and even um, we also do conferences here, and we do um, garden tours. And it's a part of the Humber College as well as the Toronto Conservation and um, it's like a learning lab for the students of the Humber College. So they also get an opportunity to um, teach others about nature. And you can see all the poops around. You can see the bird poops all around. That's how you know that there's a nest around. So then you just look up and then you can see the hawk's nest. You can hear them around too, but right now I don't know where they are. This building, um, as you notice, um, it's all glass and the purpose of it being all glass is that the sun actually shines from this side, right? It's basically a living building and so what happens is that the building knows when it's really hot inside and it'll just automatically turn, uh, open up and let the cool air come in. We don't really have a central heating or a cooling system, it's all natural so the natural lighting from the sun comes into the building. In the winter time, these glasses um, trap in the heat from the sun so it keeps the room warm. 